First at 6 o'clock, Tulsa police say a pool party at a vacant house near 71st and Sheridan ended with a man drowning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. Police say the 43-year-old man and his friends knew the house was going up for sale and was going to be empty, so they snuck into the yard at about 1 in the morning to swim. News on 6's Matt Ron says neighbors are shocked. Matt? Craig, some of the neighbors I talked to here say they didn't even know this house was for sale, but police say the people who snuck in here late last night did and took advantage of the empty house. Police say the late night 4th of July party started around 1 a.m. Friday morning at this home near 71st and Sheridan. They were in a place they shouldn't have been trying to cool off on the 4th. Uh, sounds like they needed to pick a better better option. Larry Byers has lived in this neighborhood for more than 20 years and says nothing quite like this has ever happened here. Take the liberty of going in somebody's yard and then having that type of thing. It's horrible to have somebody drown in any circumstances, but that is certainly a preventable situation. Police say a man who lives in this neighborhood knew this house was going up for sale and would be empty, so he decided to have a pool party. Well, they went over to a neighbor's house uninvited. I mean, they, they weren't allowed to be there and to use this person's pool. The man's friends told police that at some point he went underwater and never resurfaced. They pulled the man out and tried CPR and called 911 around 7 a.m. Uh, we don't think there's any foul play except for the fact that they weren't supposed to be on the property. Right. Neighbors here say waking up the day after a holiday to news like this is unsettling for such a quiet neighborhood. There's not anything, you know, anything the neighborhood can do other than mourn with other folks. Now, police say they don't know if drugs or alcohol were involved in this drowning. They're waiting on the medical examiner's office for more details on the death. In Tulsa, Matt Ron, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.